So I'm Bruce Stevenson. And I'm Linda Piccinini. And together we are Today's Dental Consulting. And today we're going to do a little short open dental hack video uh, on using the insurance verification list with the request button. The request button is kind of a mysterious feature in open dental. So Linda, go ahead. Why don't you show them? Okay. So I'm going to go up here. What's that, what's the... that called right there? <laughs> <laughs> that is called the fill my schedule button. Okay, good. At least by us, that's what it's called. <laughs> okay. At the bottom of that button, once you open it, right here, insurance verify. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay. Up is going to come to the patients in the schedule. Insurance is to verify list. Okay. So now I'm simply going to right mouse click, go to the patient plan. Now from here, I can access that mysterious button, the request button. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Oh, okay, great. That's telling me right now. Okay, subscribers are not found. Please correct and resubmit. Okay, so that patient is not eligible. So then I can go ahead and, and confirm that if need be. Okay, perfect. So during that little pause, it was looking out on the Internet uh, to Claims Connect to get the current real-time information about this patient. So what do you see there on that screen now about this patient, Linda? Okay, so the patient is eligible, okay? Eligibility began 7-11 of 2016, and so they're expecting this plan to be in effect all the way up until the end of the year. But he is indeed. They're telling you he's eligible, okay? And so down here, it will tell you about his maximums, okay? Calendar year, $2,000 max, remaining $2,000. Okay. So all that information is right there at your fingertips. Real time. So when it works, yes. So when it works, it's very valuable. Okay, let's look at the next patient there. Okay. Looks like a Delta patient. Mm-hmm. So mm -hmm. of these, we looked at four. And we found benefits for three of them. Okay, let's try this Cigna one. Okay. Okay, let's hit the request button. Okay. So we know he's the eligible. eligible. So let's see what like maximum. That, we checked the eligibility for that patient and got all this other information. So the amount of information we get is going to vary with the individual plan, the individual carrier. So if you say OK there, and then go mm -hmm. back to our list, go back to the verification list, and go ahead and right mouse click on that one we just verified. Right mouse click. OK. And set verified. verification status to. OK. All right. So verified. Verified. OK. OK. Yep. OK. Yeah, I took him off the list. OK. OK. So then we don't have to worry about that one anymore. Now we just have to worry about these other ones. What else can we do if you right mouse click on that patient? Uh, we can assign to somebody else. OK. Who can we assign to? Oh, let's don't assign it to Bruce. Let's, let's give it to Terry because she's not here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there, now we know that that's going to be Terry's job to check on that one. So that's a very nice, quick little way uh, to do one of the many different ways to do insurance verification. This is using the insurance verification list in Open Dental along with the request button, the undocumented feature in Open Dental. Again, it doesn't always work, but when it does, it saves you a tremendous amount of time. Absolutely.